Hey you guys, I'm still sort of sick from last week so I don't sound the best, but today I'm going to be talking about Egyptian astrology, and that is one of my favorite topics. I was once Egyptian, so I love all things Egypt. I'm probably going to do different videos on um, the gods and goddesses of Egypt and other Egypt videos, but today it's about astrology, traditional and pharaohs. So I have timestamps in the description if you guys want to fast forward to certain signs, that's totally cool. I have the dates down there too. But um, I think that Egyptian astrology is really underrated. You've probably heard of Western astrology, which is great and super accurate as well. But Egyptian astrology, um, they had the help of aliens back in ancient Egypt. So they knew a lot about astronomy and they had one of the most accurate calendar systems there was in the ancient world. They were only a quarter of a day off from the accurate solar annual cycle. They had 12 months in their year, 30 days in each month, because they understood that the lunar cycle was 29 and a half days. So they used not just the moon, but the water level in the Nile River, the fertility of their soil, to determine seasons and their calendar, which then contributed to making their zodiac signs. So the beginning of the astrological new year was always the first new moon after the star Sirius reappeared in the night sky. That then onset the flooding of the Nile River every year, and they used this, the stuff that was going on down here, to connect to up there. The ancient Egyptians understood this concept that everything is connected. In traditional Egyptian astrology, it's not just one month of time for each sign. It's a few days in a few different months for each of the 12 signs. So I think that is probably the coolest thing about traditional Egyptian astrology. So let's get into this. If you were born under the sign of the Nile, then you were born January 1st through 7th, June 19th through 28th, September 1st through 7th, or November 18th through 26th. Now, this is the only sign in traditional Egyptian astrology that isn't a god or goddess. It represents the goddess who saved the Nile, who I feel like has a deep connection to Isis and Cleopatra but that's just me. Anyways, if you are born under this sign, then you are very nurturing and peaceful. You're wise, you're logical and analytical, you're protective, determined, passionate, open-minded, and you're cautious. You won't make a move until you know that the coast is clear. You are led by your dreams and you bring harmony wherever you go. You pay attention to detail and you're an excellent observer. You treat all walks of life equally and you're always willing to give a helping hand. You are blissful one second and then frustrated the next because you are bipolar and unpredictable. Atman Ra is January 8th through 21st and February 1st through 11th. If you were born under this sign, then you are ruled by Saturn and the Sun. Um, Atman Ra is the king of the gods. He is the god of protection, construction, and wind. People born under this sign are very wise. They're helpful and generous. They're powerful and courageous, strong-willed motivational, inspiring, loving, self-confident, hardworking, firm, athletic, talented. They make excellent leaders and organizers. They're good decision makers and they're good at handling money. They're good consultants and personal trainers to have because they give great advice. They're good at keeping things under control. They have a strong inner voice and intuition but they can be intolerant and angry. Next is Mutt, born January 22nd through 31st, or September 8th through 22nd. She is the mother of the world, the goddess of sky and creation, 
people born under this sign are very determined and focused. They're the advocates and the educators. They're rational, practical, they're patient, generous, and charming. They're sincere, often very shy and sensitive. They have a vision of what they want in life and they really prioritize their goals. They won't open up until they get to know you really well. And they're interested in spiritual philosophies and mystic stuff. Jeb is born February 12th through 29th or August 20th through 31st. And they are ruled by the earth. Jeb is the god of earth and the father of snakes. People born under this sign are reliable and honest. They're very friendly and grounding. They're caring and charming. They're authentic and modest, intuitive, emotional, kind-hearted, and tactful. They can be shy or introverted or overly sensitive, but they make good law enforcement and judges. They're good writers, teachers, and counselors. They always think before they act they have a really good memory, and they enjoy activities that help the Earth, like eco-friendly alternatives. Next is Osiris. They're born March 1st through 10th, or November 27th through December 18th. And they are ruled by Pluto and the Sun. Osiris is the god of the underworld, and people born under this sign are very perplexing. They're misunderstood and independent. They are confident, feisty, Dynamic, direct, intelligent, enthusiastic, energetic, strong, helpful, adventurous, quick-witted, passionate about their future, eager to achieve their specific dreams. Um, they're good at teaching and selling things. They're natural-born leaders. They always mean what they say, and they can be indecisive and try to avoid responsibility. Isis is born March 11th through 31st, October 18th through 29th, and December 19th through 31st. Now, this sign is ruled by the moon, Earth, and Uranus, and Isis is the goddess of motherhood, nature, love, medicine, magic, discipline, kids, the poor, and the dead. People born under this sign are very honorable, idealistic, intuitive, they're logical, generous, straightforward, calm, they're very self-reliant, outspoken, open, ambitious, active, dedicated, respectable, artsy, entertaining, sociable, popular, they're good communicators, they're good at marketing stuff, they have a really good sense of humor and like giving advice, they have high expectations, and they can become obsessive or withdrawing in difficult situations. Thoth is April 1st through 19th or November 8th through 17th. They are ruled by the moon and Mercury and Thoth is the god of the moon, knowledge, wisdom, learning, books, and divine words. He's the creator of writing. People born under this sign are very resourceful and original. They're creative, modest, helpful, very intuitive, and have creative ideas that can make a good business. They are really good at solving problems and organizing. They like sharing their knowledge with everyone. They like sharing their experiences. They're attracted to people with similar values. They make really good teachers, actors, lawyers, and journalists. They can be impatient or rash, and they will let go of something for a better offer. Horus is April 20th through May 7th and August 12th through 19th. They're ruled by the moon and sun. Horus is the god of the stars, the sky, and the shining sun. People born under this sign are very courageous and intelligent. They're strong-willed, optimistic, social, influential, intense, inspiring, hardworking. They're risk-takers and they're motivated to achieve their goals. They want the best life for them and their family. They make good politicians, journalists, and psychologists, but they can be stubborn, vindictive, and very inflexible. Anubis is May 8th through 27th and June 29th through July 17th. 
They are ruled by Mercury, and Anubis is the guardian of the underworld, the dead, death, and funerals. These people are protective, determined, they're very tolerant, self-reliant, and truthful. They're sympathetic, sensitive, and merciful. They're respectable, passionate, generous, creative, affectionate, conservative, very observant, introverted, yet they radiate confidence and express their opinions. They never back down from a goal, even if it takes them years to achieve. They have an eye for fashion or advertising, and they're interested in psychology, education, and health. They prefer to work alone. They have intense emotions. They're unpredictable, authoritative, and moody. Seth is May 28th through June 18th and September 28th through October 2nd. They are ruled by Mars, and Seth is the god of the desert, destruction, and chaos. These people are free-spirited, natural leaders. They're perfectionists. They're determined, persistent, social, motivational speakers. They like change. They seek change and new adventure. They love a good challenge. They are always on the move. They love action. They are constantly seeking new knowledge. They set high goals for themselves, and they won't stop until those goals are achieved. They do not like losing or being in second place. They love being the center of attention, and they will not sacrifice their progress for other people. They are impulsive and envious. Bastet is July 14th through 28th, September 23rd through 27th, and October 3rd through 17th. They are ruled by the sun and moon, and Bastet is the goddess of cats, pleasure, fertility, joy, magic, protection, dance, music, and love. People born under this sign are very healing. They're harmonious, reliable, loyal, caring, devoted, sensitive, trustworthy, comforting, kind, protective, mysterious, intuitive, very clairvoyant, searching for peace and balance in their life, they surround themselves with pleasurable things. They put others' needs before their own. They are attracted by secrets and occult. They dislike confrontation, and they can be vulnerable. Segment is July 29th through August 11th, and October 30th through November 7th. They are ruled by the sun. Segment is the goddess of war and vengeance. These people are very talkative and cheerful. They're brilliant and accommodating, very hospitable, honest, healing, imaginative, sensitive, protective. They're very professional and prideful. They like to go with the flow. They try to see the good in obstacles. They're very good in business. They have a strong sense of beauty, duty, and justice. They make good judges and leaders. They are uncompromising, strict, argumentative, angry, impatient, and vengeful. So that was all the signs for traditional Egyptian astrology. Now it's time for Pharaoh's Egyptian astrology, the version that they've used after the Greek influence. So here it goes. Sphinx is December 27th through January 25th. They are shapeshifters and the guardian of treasure. These people are very sensible, self-disciplining, stern, discreet, witty, humorous, adaptable, investigative, proud, guardian-like, good at being self-employed, impatient at decision-making, and conceited. Shu is January 26th through February 24th. Shu is the god of wind, air, and sunlight. These people are ingenious, creative, principled, straightforward, humorous, warm-hearted, talented, humanitarian, make good counselors or social workers. They are procrastinators, hesitant, and afraid. Isis, February 25th through March 26th. Ruled by the moon, earth, and Uranus, Isis is the goddess of motherhood, love, medicine, magic, discipline, kids, the poor, and the dead. These people are honorable, idealistic, intuitive, 
logical, generous, straightforward, calm, self-reliant, outspoken, open, ambitious, active, dedicated, respectable, artsy, entertaining, sociable, popular, good at communicating, good at marketing, have a good sense of humor, like giving advice, have high expectations, become obsessive and withdrawing in difficult situations. Osiris is March 27th through April 25th. These people are ruled by Pluto and the Sun. Osiris is the god of the underworld. These people are perplexing, misunderstood, independent, confident, feisty, dynamic, direct, intelligent, enthusiastic, energetic, strong, helpful, adventurous, quick-witted, passionate about their future, eager to achieve their specific dreams, good at teaching and selling things, they're natural-born leaders, they always mean what they say, they try to avoid responsibility, and they are indecisive. Atman Ra is April 26th through May 25th. They are ruled by Saturn and the Sun. Atman Ra is the king of the gods. He is the god of protection, construction, and the wind. These people are very wise and helpful, generous, courageous, inspiring, motivational, loving, powerful, self-confident, strong-willed, hard-working, firm, athletic, talented. They make excellent leaders and organizers. They are good decision makers. They're good at keeping things under control and handling finances. They make a good personal trainer or consultant because they have great advice. They have a strong inner voice and intuition. They can be angry and intolerant. Hathor is May 26th through June 24th. They're ruled by Pluto and the sun. Hathor is the goddess of the sky, earth, the sun, love, and amusement. These people are very expressive and charming. They're loving, healing, sensual, romantic, cunning, protective, good at art and communicating. They're helpful, jealous, and envious. The Phoenix is June 25th through July 24th. It's the bird of life, energy, and resurrection. These people are flexible, caring, optimistic, adventurous, determined, strong, can excel in self-employment. They tend to isolate themselves. They're unrealistic and stubborn. Anubis is July 25th through August 28th. They're ruled by Mercury, and Anubis is the guardian of the underworld, dead, death, and funerals. These people are protective, determined, self-reliant, very tolerant, truthful, sympathetic, sensitive, and merciful. They are respectable, passionate, generous, creative, affectionate, conservative, observant, inverted, yet they radiate confidence and will express their opinions. They never back down from a goal, even if it takes them years to achieve. They have an eye for fashion or advertising. They're interested in psychology, education, and health. They prefer to work alone. They have intense emotions. They can be unpredictable, authoritative, and moody. Thoth is August 29th through September 27th. They are ruled by the moon and Mercury. Thoth is the god of the moon, knowledge, wisdom, learning, books, divine words and the creator of writing these people are resourceful original creative helpful modest very inventive have highly creative ideas that will turn into a good business they are good at solving problems and organizing things they like sharing their ideas they like expressing their experiences and knowledge they're attracted to people with similar values they're good teachers, actors, lawyers, journalists. They can be impatient, rash, and will let go of something for a better offer. Horus is September 28th through October 27th. They are ruled by the moon and the sun. Horus is the god of the stars, the sky, and the shining sun. These people are courageous, intelligent, strong-willed, optimistic, social, influential, intense, inspiring, Hardworking, risk-taking, motivated to achieve their goals. They want the best life for them and their family. They make a good politician, psychologist, and journalist. They can be stubborn, vindictive, and inflexible. Wadget is October 28th through November 26th. 
They're connected to the papyrus plant and is the goddess of the royal cobra, the serpent of justice, wisdom, knowledge, time, heaven, and hell. These people are cautious, they're rational, they're caring, helpful, ambitious, and giving. They're self-reliant, strong, loyal to their family and beliefs. They make good supervisors, editors, engineers, and architects. They're haughty and unsociable. And the last pharaoh's Egyptian sign is Sekhmet, November 27th through December 26th. They are ruled by the sun, and Sekhmet is the goddess of war and vengeance. These people are cheerful, talkative, accommodating, hospitable, honest, healing, imaginative, brilliant, sensitive, protective, professional, prideful. They like to go with the flow. They try to see the good in obstacles. They're good at business, and they have a strong sense of beauty, duty, and justice. They are good judges and leaders. They're uncompromising, strict, argumentative, angry, impatient, and vengeful. So that was all the traditional and pharaoh signs. I hope you guys enjoyed. My traditional sign is the Nile, and pharaohs is Wadget, in case you were curious. Um, I will see you guys next week with another video. So love and light in the hybrid children are coming soon.